Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use status bar in Qt. So let's get started. I'm going to use the project which I have created in the last two videos, which is my login app, right? And in the last two videos, we have seen how we can create this login app design and how we can, uh, you know, implement the code for uh, creating the, this login app, right? Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use status bar. So as you may have observed that status bar is already the part of your main window. So whenever you create your main window class widget, then you will be having status bar by default. So it's the part of uh, your main window class, which is this one, right? Now, you can see the status bar here and on the frame here or window here this one at, at the bottom is your status bar which is almost invisible right now now how we can use it as the name suggests status bar is used to show some statuses right so for example whenever we log in we have written the code to uh, you know uh, check whether username and password matches our uh, you know custom username and password or not and whenever I click login it uh, checks and shows the message using the message box but for example I don't want to show the message using the message box but in the status bar so I can do this so you can see here the status bar uh, object name is status bar itself so I'm going to use this name so, and I'm going to go to my edit view and go to source and go to main window.cpp file here right and this is the code which I have written last uh, time to check the username and password and if the username is equal to test and password is equal to test I was showing this uh, message in the message box that username and password is correct. This message you can instead of showing in the message box, you can use a, a status bar to show it. So how you can show it? So what you can do here is I'm just commenting this message box code here also I'm just commenting it and let's comment uh, this code also for uh, the opening of second window because uh, we don't need it right now so I will just uh, comment this code for now so what I'm going to do here is I will just call UI and I can call this status bar uh, widget by its name and then I can call a method called show message so just call uh, this method called show message and this can take one argument at least and it uh, can take two argument if you want to provide so first we will take uh, how to use this uh, show message with one argument which is the message itself so i just want to show here that username and password is correct in the status bar right in the same way i want to show the message when the username and password is not correct that username and password is not correct this uh, message to my status bar right so I can just do something like this and then I will run my code and see what happens when I give my username and password so when I give uh, username test and password test and click login you can see it says username and password is correct in the bottom status bar you can see here right when I give the wrong password it will give me username and password is not correct right so this is how the basic functionality of uh, status bar works but in here in the show message um, function you can add this uh, one more uh, argument which takes the timeout you can see by default it's set to zero but uh, you can uh, give the timeout here and it takes the timeout in milliseconds right so for for example you set uh, 5000 here then this means five seconds right so let's add this timeout here and here also as a second argument of this function and let's run it once again so what it's going to do is it's going to disappear 
this message so let's give the test and test once again and I'm going to just uh, click login button and uh, you can observe after five seconds it will disappear so just wait for five seconds and you can see the message is disappearing after five seconds and this is what this uh, timeout is doing so it's waiting for five seconds and then it's clearing the status bar message once again you can uh, wait for five seconds and then it will disappear okay so you can see this right so this is how you can set the timeout on your status bar now for example you want to add uh, some uh, custom widget to your uh, status bar you can do also these things so what I can do is I can go to main window.ui and in here I can uh, just drag a label here not in the status bar but anywhere uh, in the login uh, window main window right and for example I can just uh, choose a progress bar here also okay and I'm leaving the name of these uh, text box or a label as uh, label 3 and you can see the progress bar uh, name is uh, progress bar okay so label 3 and progress bar now for example I want to add uh, these uh, widgets to my status bar what I, ca I can do is I can go to my code and go to main window.cp file and in here I will go to the constructor and once again I will call uh, UI status bar and then I will call a method called add permanent widget and then you can give the name of your widget so I want to add the text and the progress bar here right and it can take a second argument also which is the stretch we will see this a uh, little bit later but right now you can just add your label here my label number is 3 right and same you can do for the progress bar so I can just use this add permanent widget for my progress bar so just write ui dot progress bar okay and now whenever you run the program you will be able to see this progress bar and text bar box in the status bar right so you can see this text box and progress bar is um, fitted at the right hand side of the progress bar so whenever you use uh, this function which is uh, add permanent widget then it will add these uh, you know progress bar and uh, the text or any widget from the right hand side right and the normal uh, message in the status bar comes on the left hand side so whenever you click it you see this normal message comes on the uh, left hand side right so these widget will be set from the right hand side okay now whenever you give the stretch here you can give the stretch one and one and then let's see what happens here so when you give one and one then this text box is on the one end and the progress bar is on the other end right so the ratio of uh, this stretch of this text box and the progress bar will be divided by one by one okay or you can do here for example two by one or three by one let's see three by one ratio here or stretch here and now whenever it runs you can see the ratio of your text label and your uh, progress bar will be three by one okay so this is how you can uh, you know divide the proportion which will be covered by these widget in the status bar okay so for now I'm going to just remove this uh, ratio but this is how your status bar works right and later whenever you are doing uh, some uh, you know operation which involves uh, this uh, progress bar or status bar you can uh, just use them right so for example you can uh, just use uh, this label to show the same text right so dot uh, set text for example and then you can just give the same message here okay like this and also 
in here also in the case of uh, not you valid username and password and whenever you run the program it will show you the message also in the text box here also right so you can see two messages one in the text box and other in the status bar okay so i hope you have understood the basic concept of uh, status bar and i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for